How's it going, buddy? It's your boy Warmaster back again with another episode of Mod Review. And today, Mod Review, we're going to review the history mod by Zay Muslim. So technically, Zay Muslim is Turkish, so you can see the picture of a Turkish prime minister, Mr. Uh, Erdogan. Is that his name? Yeah, Erdogan, something like that. And uh, yeah, it is a new update. Actually, it's not a new. It is new, but it has been updated for weeks and weeks and weeks. And it took me long enough to check it out. So if you look into his channel, you can see the history mod 2.6, which is I just reviewed today. And there's 20 era mod 1.6, the history mod 2.5, uh, 1.5, you know, uh, 2.4, 1.4. And oh, so this one is a history mod and this one is the 20th era mod. So I'm going to review the 20th era mod tomorrow. So for now, I'm going to review the history mod. So we got 2.6, 2.5. Uh, 2.4, 2.3, and he's developing different mods at the same time. And also, subscribe to my boy Zemo Slim. I will link in the description down below. Subscribe to him. He's doing his best for mod in also in this community. Uh, Zemo Slim has been around for quite a while now, and he's doing quite okay, I guess. And uh, most of his customized missions are really, really good. I do enjoy playing his customized missions. So again, check him out. Link will be in the description, and I will post his... Uh, profile along in this video to help support him and his channel so if you click on it this is a new type of tab we can see the setting it is down and domination campaigns on the left uh, conquest and xu on the right so for campaigns we have i think it's the same thing though yeah the same thing i think he haven't yet added anything but i will try to confirm with him more but there's uh, something strange there's a mission right here which i had haven't yet checked yet it's uh europe world war ii but mostly, uh, this is focused on a, a new era. When I say new era, it focuses on a new modern day uh, with new modern uh, generals, with new modern uh, president, prime minister, or any sort of, you know, like kings or whatever. So, if you guys have played this before, you can see there are so many portraits of generals. Mostly not general, these are president, or you can say prime minister, uh, leader of the state, leader of the country, you know. And uh, you can see different, and this is uh, pre, yeah, this is some generals, some of them are Russian, some of them are Turkish, and even Hillary Clinton is here, uh, and when the kings of Saudi Arabia, and some other uh, Turkish general as well, with Vladimir Lenin, Stalin, Wilhelm II, Muhammad Gandhi, even John F. Kennedy, Harry Truman, Franklin Roosevelt, Ho Chi Minh, Mr. H, uh, Bonaparte, Mussolini, and Atatürk, Mustafa Kamel Atatürk, the biggest guy in Turkey's nowadays, the president, the legend, the myth. Okay, so let's look at the conquest. What do we have for the conquest? We have rise of tensions. We have Turkish power, European Union, Islamic Union. So this is pretty much a new sort of uh, scenario that has been updated, which is really good. If you look into the tensions, uh, I will go with Russia. Okay, so. We are in 2020, the tension between countries was very high and now the war is has started, okay. So, technically this is uh, Russia, we got Vladimir Putin, you know, and this is Poland, you know, uh, Germany and uh, Ukraine and all sorts of other stuff and nation has been added. Uh, mostly African nations are still left out uh, because, you know, it's not that easy because there are so many nations in Africa and this is Asia and this is... Uh, America. So this is my thing here. You know, the mods looks really amazing. That's the thing I want to say. It looks really good. The thing is, uh, he also added uh, some sort of, you know, like geographical, sorry, geographic, you know, uh, texture. So in this sort of area, he added industries, industries, industry, 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 and some of these area, he add the forest. So it's, it's really true. If you focus into Russian map or geography, these are uh, the forest, these are the forests as well, it's just different texture. This one looks a bit better, this one is a bit like winter uh, Siberia. And this some of this area should be uh, forest as well. But I, I do love the way that he add all the forests as well here. And this is the sand in Kazakhstan, this is true because there's a lot of sand. And uh, there should be big, big mountain here, not this small. This is the Himalayas between India and China in Pakistan. This one should be Kashmir, where they're fighting, I don't know, for the Kashmir area. There uh, should be some tensions around here as well, with all the big mountains. There should be stretched around here until Myanmar and also at Chiang Mai. There should be something around Chiang Mai as well. Yeah, Chiang Mai here with mountains and even mountains around here and 
some port and plains in Cambodia. And in uh, southern Vietnam, there should be forests. This uh, should be forests in Vietnam. This area at Da Nang to Hue uh, should be all mountains and plains at Hanoi. And Vinh Tien, yeah, it's true. It's all uh, forests. And if you look into Malaysia, also forests as well. Indonesia, also forest, forest and forest, which is really good. Uh, pretty much accurate. It should be a mountaineers around here. Sorry, a mountains around here as well. And for Philippines, Philippines also consists a lot of rainforest. So added all the rainforest in Philippines. And for China, trust me, uh, you, I think you should look at Hoi Pho. Hoi Pho would have been a better geographical map. Uh, Xin Giang, full of sand. Tibet, full of mountains. This one is mountain, mountain with sand. This one is freaking mountain. This one is mountain, mountain, and only from Shanghai to Wuhan. Uh, should be uh, sort of, you know, like forest mixed with mountain. And in uh, Manjuria, Manjuria should be a little bit of forest and plains. And Beijing is okay. Uh, for uh, Korea, the Korean Peninsula, uh, not, I think the North Korean has a lot of rainforests or trees. But uh, in South Korea, no, there's no more trees, only mountains now. There's so many mountains in there. And Japan as well should be mountains and mountains. And uh, Vladivostok uh, should be a just normal plain, but with a few mountains around here, which cause a really hard trekking around this area. Uh, and Alaska, mountains, and there should be mountains around here as well. Texas should include a bit sands. This one should be mountains in Los Angeles and San Francisco. Uh, yeah, rainforest around here is okay, okay. It should be uh, mountains. This one should be mountains mixed with uh, rainforest. Oh, oh, I do love this, you know, I do love the way that he added the rainforest in Brazil because it's really accurate. And the rainforest should stretch from here until it reaches the southern end to the border. And yeah, this is mountain, mountain. I do love the way that he added. It looks really nice. And it would have been amazing if he added all the, Ant uh, uh, he added Antarctica. The, yeah, this one is Arctic, this one is Antarctica. It would have been great, like amazing, you know. I do love his work and sh a lot of sand here. There's a lot of mountain in Turkey as well. Uh, should be mountains as well, mountains and uh, plains as well uh, in uh, Ukraine. And the Alps, yeah, the Alps are really good, you know. The Alps is really, really big though. Yeah, looks so good. I do like this. I do like this very much. And rainforest as well uh, in uh, UK and Ireland. And mountaineers in Norway, yes, that's really good. So this is my point of view. I will give this an eight out of ten. He's doing really great. Zen Muslim is doing doing really really great. So subscribe to his channel, give him some support. This is one of the mods that I would like to play, but I would take some time to play because I don't really have much time though. I have a lot of stuff to do. But trust me, this is a good mod. You guys can enjoy it. This is a twenty twenty mod. Uh, sorry, the history mod with the twenty twenty tension uprising. Uh, let's try put in how much damage. Oh, it should be beside. And for units, you can see we have soldiers, police special force, Grandamia, special force, Spesinas, and helicopters. Tanks, we have BMP, light tanks, medium tanks, T90, and T14 Amarta. And for artillery, you have the Gwos Diga, and Acacia, and BM21 Grad, and Topol M. Topol M has been the best, always the best, the biggest damage of all time. So subscribe to his channel. Leave a thumbs up and if you guys enjoyed this more review, leave a like and you guys can get link in the description down below. Check his channel and I will see you guys next time.